How often do you get shipments of fish here? Uh, we try to restock almost uh, four to five times a week. Wow, Yeah. that's like almost every day. Yeah, almost every day we have new stock coming in. Today we're at that aquarium once again, but at their Changi branch, this is another one of their stores. All links will be in the description. Take a look at how incredible this tank right behind me looks. They've got a few really nice display planted tanks, a lot of equipment as you can see behind me, and a huge selection of fish that we'll take a look at later. But let's begin this store tour at the entrance of the store. All right, so right here, this is what you see when you walk in. You've got a nice paludarium right here. Some amazing plant growth as well. Like look at this, some type of marsilia I suppose. Then Hygrophila pinnatifida. And some nice aquatic plants growing immersed. Yeah, but beautiful setup. And then you can see their amazing selection of equipment. There's a bunch of water conditioners and test kits here as well. You can just see the huge selection they've got. Up above you've got some of the fans to keep your aquarium cool because Singapore is like summer the whole year round. So people with planted tanks try to keep their tanks cool. You can see just a quick glimpse this side is like the planted area. There's a bunch of plants over there. Over there as well, we'll take a closer look at later. Let's go around and see some of these equipment. Look at this, all this filter, hang on back filters. You've got wave makers. And then over here you've got heaters. These are USB air pumps. You've got a few different colors. And then fish food on this rack. Just a huge variety of fish food for all kinds of fish. Then if we move on over there, you can see equipment for water changing. You've got DIY stuff as well. And then for turtles. All right, so let's go and take a look at some of the plants over here. You can see these are wabikusa. You've got a few different kinds. And then you've got submerged aquatic plants here. And then some of the anubias as well, and java ferns. Look, I like this system. It's like a raining waterfall, like kind of like what you get in a jungle. I've never been in a real jungle, but I suppose like water drops from down from the trees and stuff. And you've got this tank. We saw this at their Tampines branch. Got a nice pea puffer in here. And then some of the more higher tech aquatic plants that require CO2 and bright lighting. This is being lit up by the weak aqua. Not sure exactly what model it is, but yeah, very, very nice. And now back here, you've got a huge selection of sand and soils, aqua soil, sand. You've even got the larger type. Um, overhead filtration units and then at the very back we've got hardscape materials look at this this wood I've I've been starting to see more often here in Singapore it's called the roll wood And then some of the Malaysian driftwood up here. And then over here you've got smaller driftwood and a bunch of different kinds of rock. Yeah, good selection for aquascaping. Alright, now let's make our way back over. 
you can see on the left hand side here you've got some various canister filters now here you can see different plants packed in bags and then this is a little cool section of mini aquariums and terrariums this one is really nice it's a little rice fish kind of like a biotope style tank very small like a mini pond but very very nice perfect for just a couple little rice fish and with rice fish they really don't need any oxygenation they can take stagnant waters and look at that incredible then this is a nice terrarium right here You've got a black water setup and a no tech nano aquarium down below this is a little paludarium this is nice I really like the riverbank style tanks this kind of inspires me to create a little nano tank or a terrarium even and just have it on my desk or bedside desk it's it just seems so like therapeutic and relaxing to watch after a hard day of work or yeah or, or when you're feeling stressed I think just having some time taking some time to look and enjoy one of these would be just really really relaxing let me know what your thoughts are on having a nano tank if you find it relaxing to watch or if you don't have one of these and you'd like to try something like this out in the future we'll take a close look at this tank right now because this is an eye catcher it's a five foot tank and you can just see the plants in here look really amazing the colors is just brilliant super nice and then you've got a bunch of cardinal tetras as well as the cherry barbs and some pretty unique plants as well like this one right here that is called cyrus red and then a few that I don't even know like this I don't know what kind of plant that is maybe if some of you know you can comment down below but this is also pretty unique it's a nymphaea but Peru nymphaea Peru is what it's called and then you've got Risia and a bunch of different Ludwigias and Rotalas yeah very nice setup all right now let's go over here you can see there's a wide selection of lights aquarium lighting you've got the Chihiros lights as well very familiar with the Chihiros got a good lineup of lights oh yeah you've got more plants over here here's a nice tank I really like the waterfall here there's a few different waterfalls and it looks really really nice now if there's some fish swimming in here I think it would look even better or maybe shrimp and then this looks like it's just been made I'm not sure what's gonna happen eventually with this tank but it's a pretty cool setup and then a few more little terrariums here and then down below are all the fertilizers for your for growing aquatic plants here you've got some tools I like their range they've got some ADA products as well as other products like the aquatic farmer this is quite a new uh, new brand in this hobby I think uh, ANS yep and then some very nice planted tanks so it looks like two foot planted tanks but the dimensions are slightly different just incredible coloration of the plants 
the red and the greens. Well, I don't know which ones to focus on because they're both so nice. But let's take a look at this. You can see Utricularia graminifolia. Looks like Rotella bonsai, maybe Florida sunset. I'm not sure what this is, but that's a really unique looking plant right there. Oh, and then you've also got Ludwigia sedoides, which is this floating plant. It's actually not a floating plant, but it roots itself in soil. And then it goes all the way to the top. And this tank is also really nice. Now over here you've got a few of the more rarer and unique plants that are for sale. You can see how they organize them in little cups. Alright, welcome to the rainforest understory. Oh, so this is quite nice. It's like a jungle area for the jungle plants. Look at this wall though. Got a moss wall. Yeah, some of these plants are really, really nice. Like the patterns on them and the colors. Beautiful. And down below you've got some of the carpeting plants. And then on this side, You've got some more plants in little pots, some Anubias, some floating plants. You've got Pogostemon helferi in this. It's a little, little bit hard to see. Yeah, you've got a wide variety of aquatic plants. And here as well. Alright, so that was the first half of that aquarium. We saw a bunch of equipment and some nice planted tanks. Now let's move on to the fish selection. There's a huge selection of fish here, so let's go. Alright, so as you walk in, you can just see how many tanks there are, how many rows. It's quite amazing, and that's not it. Like over here as well. But first of all, we got to take a look at this. This is a really nice setup right here. It's quite a new setup too, but you've got some of this unique little tetra. It's called the hummingbird tetra. And I've only just heard of this fish today. But pretty unique. Very nice scape as well. All right, you can see over here, you've got a bunch of aquariums and fish tanks. A nice little flower horn right here. This is my favorite kind of color for a flower horn. All right, in this tank, you've got some of the hooks, the red hook, the tiger hooks and the blackberry hook. Over here you've got some koi fish. 
Alright, but let's start with the first row over here. So here you've got a selection of beta. Wow, take a look at this guy. Alright, let's see this guy flare up with this guy. Wow. That is beautiful. Alright, I think that's enough for for him. Alright, I want to watch one more flare up. Which one should we watch flare up? I think one of the ones up top. Alright, let's see this guy. Come on, they gotta notice each other first. There we go, look at that. Incredible. Alright, thank you for that. We'll put that back. Yeah, down below you've got some small type fish like nanofish. Has Habrosis corridoras. Up above, some really nice ranchu. Now over here we've got a variety of guppies. Probably my favorite in this row are these guys. I just love the red and the black. They're the koi tuxedos. Oh, I also like this, the albino full red. Beautiful. Okay. Now you've got so... M oh, this is that tetra that I was talking about, the hummingbird tetra. Look at that. Yeah, but there's so many types of fish here. Got this thing. What's the pipe fish? Very unique. Some crystal red shrimp. Coral red pencil. Huge, huge selection of fish. And it's gonna be impossible to look at every single one of them, so we're gonna just take a look at some of the cooler and unique fish that I can find. Alright, and I apologize if it's a little bit loud in here. There are fans just blasting this room, keeping this room cool. These two tanks are really nice. So up top you've got the rainbow fish tank. A selection of rainbow fish. Very nice. I like how their tanks are set up here. And then here you've got Corydoras. Quite a few different varieties of Corydoras in this tank. And there are more like back behind. It's hard to show on camera, but there are different levels to this tank. Alright, so let's go in this middle section now. Oh my gosh, this is going to be hard to film because there's two sides. Alright, let's start off with this side. So we, we've got flower horns, even more. Look at this. Look how nice that color is. I think that's beautiful, but I still prefer the types that have red in them. You've got the topaz puffer. First time I've heard of this fish and seen it. L look at that. I've never ever seen this fish before. 
here you've got the Fajaka puffer. Oh, you've also got a red Congo puffer, but it's hiding in the back. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to see that. Another Topaz puffer here. A figure eight puffer. And then some plecos down below. Uh, in these tanks, oh, chanas. They are snakeheads. Yeah, very nice. Then you've got a rainbow wolf fish. The cobalt blue snakehead. I like how they do this. So to show the customer that it's sick and not ready to be sold yet. Wow, so I guess this is the Chana snakehead section. It's quite a good variety of them here. And then over here you've got a few more betta as well as crayfish and crabs. Look at the crayfish or crawfish however you call them. But some of the claws are huge. And then some nice crabs. Wow, looking at these crabs make me want to set up a habitat for them. Alright, now let's go on to this side. So up top you've got some nice albino Oscars. Now over here some of the newer type of uh, tetras. I don't even know these but they look quite amazing. And then here as well, you've got some tetras with apistos. Some crayfish, and look at the colors on them. They're really, really vibrant. Alright, over here you've got this beautiful red cherry tetra. The colors just quite impressive. And you've got the Trophius Icola. And some other Tangaikan cichlids. Down below, Frontosa. Rainbow fish. Yeah, you've got a great selection of fish here. And you've even got an African lungfish in the back over there. Now moving on over here. This is the pleco section. You've got a wide variety of plecos. Some really nice Synodontis catfish in here. The Synodontis valentiana, or the Ocelifer. I don't know which one's which. Down here you've got the blue jewel cichlids. Look at the blues on that. Alright, and over here you've got some of the common, the honey gurami 
Uh, what's this? The penguin tetra and the dwarf chain. I don't know what this guy is. Yeah, golden dwarf barb. Over here you've got the Enli Cherry and even though they're small now, they can grow big. Some angelfish, loaches. Oh, you've got the Bulgarian Seal Point angelfish. And then you've got a few tanks that are empty. There is a shipment of fish that just came in today. And maybe we can take a look at some of the unique fish that came in today. Yeah, over here, some beautiful Daniels. Wow, this is really cool. The Zodiac Loach. I believe that's what these guys are. Some Siamese algae eaters, some of the more common fish down here. Angelfish, black angels. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. You've got some discus over here. And then here, wow, these are beautiful. The real Nanai wild angelfish. Oh my gosh. Wow, these guys are amazing. I used to keep these angelfish many, many years ago. And I think still on my YouTube channel, like one of the very first videos is of my tank with Rio Nana angelfish. Some African cichlids. And then down below are some Barbs and Masir. Wow, don't Masirs get big? All right, let's go and take a look now at this wall over here because there's some really vibrant, nice colored fish. And I really like the tanks with the black backgrounds. But look at this, the Blind Cave Tetra. And then this is also really beautiful, the Albino Buenos Aires Tetra. Well, the problem with black tanks is that black fish don't stand out. It's only the bright colored ones that stand out nicely. Madagascar rainbow fish. The yellow panchaks. And then the Congo Tetras. Look how nice they look. They're still small, but they're quite nice in color. They're only going to get better. Alright, let's go over here. Rosy Tetras. There's a lot of them. Lemon Tetras and Green Fire Tetras. The golden barb. Some nice Bolivian rams. The popular cardinal tetras. Down here you've got some bala sharks. Some rose lion sharks and the paku. All right, moving on. We've got the fish that I do not like. The glow fish. But like almost every store will carry them now.
Oh, I like how all these guys are like lined up. And they're the emerald green Corydoras. But look how neatly they're all lined up. That's so cute. Alright, so more of your common tetras over here. And then some rice fish. They've got platinum rice fish. Black rice fish and orange rice fish as well. Whoa, that's cool. So yeah, rice fish are getting more and more common in Singapore now. And then a variety of goldfish. Carrot fish down below, you've got the orange and red varieties. And mollies and laddies. Whoa, these are beautiful. The red double sword tails. Alright, so you can see over there is a big shipment of fish that just arrived today. We'll take a look at that later on. But we need to finish this row first. Over here you've got the super red albino tiger Oscars. Now these are beautiful. The lemon Oscar. Okay, these guys are cool. I saw them come out just now, but they're the dragon gobies, and I've never seen them in person before. Only on videos, but they're really cool looking fish. Super high back arowana. Some earth eaters. Knife fish. Down below, we've got some Senegal bichers as well as peacock bass. Whoa, these are some big black ghost knife. Alright, now I guess this section here is like the monster fish section. There's some large fish or fish that get big like the red tail catfish. And then back hiding behind that sponge filter is the tigerinus catfish. And the tigerinus catfish, this guy is still small, but when they get bigger, they're really, really beautiful. Like, they've got like this zebra stripe. Right now it's not, not so defined, but it gets nicer as it grows. And the Platinum Endly Cherry. And that's beautiful. Haroon Shark. Oh, look in this little hide. There's a bunch of catfish in there. Yeah, very big selection of fish. Okay, now we're back to the smaller fish. Oh, am I zoomed out? I want to be zoomed out. Alright. Okay, this is a unique fish. It's called a glass fish. A signifer rainbow fish. Very nice. I've got some of these at home in Japan. Some German rams. Corydoras. 
balloon rams. Whoa, these are really nice. I've never seen rainbow shiners or red shiners. Okay, maybe not rainbow shiners, but red shiners this big. Wow. The colors are really, really nice. Some Rohani barbs. Over here as well, you've got the similar barb, but the mascara barb. We've got the turquoise rainbow as well as the western rainbow. Now going up top, you've got some smaller rainbow fish, the Furcata as well as the Pseudomugil Gertrudes. Very nice. And then some Kubotai Rasboras, Green Neon Tetras, and... Alright, so that was all the fish of that aquarium. Now let's go and take a look at some of the fish that arrived today. Right here we've got... Hi. I'm Minyu. Minyu, uh, yeah. nice to meet you. I'm a queries here at that aquarium. So uh, over here, this is something really cool. It's the moose face loach. The moose face loach. He has a very weird face. <laughs> wow, I never heard of that before. Yeah. And behind we have some monsters. The Dorado. Oh yeah, the Dorado is amazing. Yeah. Uh, some peacock bus. This is Intermedia, the royal peacock bus. Okay. Yeah. And here we have cousin of the Amadas. This is the smaller version. Oh and nice. Yeah. You know what the difference is with the Armadas and the Kayara? Uh, not the really. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think they like are the referring same. to the same fish. Oh, yeah. same fish? They are referring okay. to the same fish. Just different name? Yeah. And there's oh, nice. a few species in there. Okay. Well. Yeah, so other than that, maybe we have a lot of loaches because this is the India shipment. Okay. Here is another one, it's a polka dot loach. Yeah, many... This rare, but inexpensive fishes. <laughs> this is golden mushier. The golden mushier. Oh yeah. This Mus is mushiers. really beautiful when they grow big. Okay. Yeah. They, they grow quite big, right? Yeah, huge. Yeah, I've seen them on TV before, on like a fishing channel mm -hmm. or something. Golden mushiers from India. This is the... Uh, similar to the blue spotted huge trout. Okay. Yeah, so it's like a Daniel looking fish from India. But this guy has not covered up yet. This is pretty rare. This is uh, the species with the bar. If I remember correctly, this is the one with the bar. Yeah, but not right now they're not showing any pounds. Yeah, okay. Also from India. Uh, oh, this. This is the golden hovering catfish. Golden hovering catfish. Something I've not seen as well. This is yeah, they look cool. nice though, even yeah. uh, from the bag. Yeah, I think in a planted tank, it'll do really well. Okay. <laughs> this tightly in the group. Nice. Wow, some of these discus are really nice too. Yeah. You could stay for like an another hour. Yeah. Our new XL discus shipment is coming. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, today. <laughs> we have another 20 more pieces in there. Okay. So now the tank looks a bit empty. Yeah. yeah. And now it's more of the more common stuff that I always restock. Alright. Some of the Malawi cichlids. Uh, oh, we have some. This is uh, Synodontis, the dec Synodontis decorous. Sun has not been here for quite a while. Okay. It's a nice dorsal fin, very long, very tall dorsal fin. And uh, some of them, American tigers. Oh yeah, the tiger dad yeah, one, yeah. right? Yeah, small guys. Here, this is uh, red mosaic. This is a uh, cold water, yeah, cold water slinkhead species. Oh. Is this also from India? Yeah, from India. Okay, India here. This Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. This is a paradise fish from India. It's the spit tail. Spit tail paradise oh, nice. fish. Yeah. And some common stuff. Oh this is always a favorite. Rope fish. Rope fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rope fish also come from India. 
Is it? Is that, no, is it? No, no, there's not. Oh, they don't. I don't think oh. so. Yeah, Africa. So this one isn't an Indian shipment? No, no, shipment. this is not an Indian shipment. Okay. Really. How often do you get shipments of fish here? Uh, we try to restock almost uh, four to five times a week. Wow. Yeah. That's like almost every day. Yeah, almost every day we have new stock coming in. That's and incredible. It's always like this <laughs> amount yeah. of fish. Yeah. But you still find ways to put them in your tanks, right? Yeah. So you yeah. can see my in our tanks there's like multiple fishes in a single tank. Yeah. Yeah. So I try to squeeze okay. as much variety as I can. Yeah. But I also like the way you set up the tanks. So it's kind okay. of like natural looking, you know, <laughs> gravel in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, here's more common stuff. Maybe right. panther crabs. It's pretty nice. Oh. What crab? Panther crabs. Panther crabs. These are fully aquatic crabs. Oh nice. Yeah. They don't come out of the water? Uh, they may escape, but you can keep them entirely underwater. Okay. Yeah, they don't need a land area. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. The rest are all very common stuff. Alright, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Alright, so that was that aquarium. If you've never been here before, all links will be in the description below. If you live in Singapore, you gotta check this place out. They've got a wide selection of plants hardscape equipment and fish. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.